In this tip of the day, I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to reduce the amount of CNC code when performing high-speed machining. Now in this example, you can see we have a part that's mounted to a fixture plate. And what I've done is I performed an open pocket operation to remove the material on the outside. Now let's quickly generate some CNC code for this. We're going to right-hand mouse click on the toolpath group. We're going to select post group. I'm just going to use a Haas post processor here. Let's click post, save. We're going to overwrite the program that was already generated. Now if I scroll down to the very bottom of the CNC program, you can see that that high speed toolpath has generated right at 1749 lines of CNC code. Now how can we reduce the amount of CNC code? Well it's very simple. We're going to come over here to the pocketing operation. I'm going to right hand mouse click. I'm going to select edit operation. And what we're going to do is we're going to quickly move through these dialog menus until we come right here. And there's an option under advanced pathing adjustments called prefer toolpath output as arcs, arc optimization. Let's click OK to that next and finish. Now if you take a look at the toolpath it looks very similar to the original toolpath but what's happened? Well when possible one CNC has combined and normalized arcs when it can to reduce the amount of code. Let's demonstrate this by coming back over to the toolpath group. We're going to right hand mouse click. Again we're going to select post group. We're going to use the Haas post processor. We'll click post on that. Again we're going to overwrite the original CNC program. Now remember the previous CNC program was right at 1749 lines of CNC code. But if I quickly scroll down to the bottom of this brand new CNC program, you can see that this is generated just right at 474 lines of CNC code. This has reduced the amount of CNC code to less than one third the amount of the original size of the CNC program. So, in summary, using one CNC and high speed toolpath, it's very easy to keep the amount of CNC code to a minimum. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next tip of the day.